Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, we are live. I'm just trying to figure out a good. Should probably move my other pal out of the way, actually. Afternoon or morning. In quarantine, I would dare say, uh, I, I would probably call this morning at this point. Yeah. So, I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes just because I think it's not. Oh, oh it is actually four. So, essentially, um, well, I guess I will give this a couple of minutes just to see if anybody else is gonna show up. But this is going to be pretty much a dummy proof how to build yourself, you know, a, a practice pad. I'm going to use mine as an example, but currently yeah, I've been beating the ever, you know, the, I've been beating the crap out of this thing, right? But something a little nicer than a simple block of wood. You know, something a little night, uh, something sturdy that'll last you a little bit, so that you can use all of the awesome tips and tricks that you know everybody's been doing, right? So, essentially, first thing you want to do, right, is take your bucket. You know, just typical Home Depot bucket that you're gonna get anywhere, right? These are absolutely amazing because you can use the, the handle to carry it because by the time this thing is done this is going to be incredibly heavy right like beyond beyond heavy so essentially what you're gonna do let me see if i can get this i've got your two by fours got your bucket I've got some quick crete down here, and once this is constructed, I'm gonna I'll, I'll go over kind of ways you can pad this. Right now, first thing you're gonna want to do is take your two by four. Right, you want four little posts, you know, for the legs. Right, so we're gonna do just that. Uh, part of the back. It's a little bit messy here. Let me see if I can get a better view of what I'm doing here. Okay. So we're going to tape this, right? Now I'm not measuring right now. I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be eyeballing this essentially, right? But what you're going to do is you want to take four tiny pieces, right? A little longer than the bucket. So if you're right. like I said, if you're eyeballing it like I am, you want it to come out about that much, right? You know, a good solid six inches off the bottom of the bucket. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to chop it, right? Now, I'm just going to I'm just going to cut off the one piece because when I was out earlier, unfortunately. Um, I couldn't actually get into the Home Depot because that there, there's lines and that place was rocked out. So I'm going to show how to assemble it and then I'm going to do the rest of this thing. You know, just ad, ad lib here. But what you're going to want to do is take your 2x4, cut it down the size with your, with your posts, right? <laughs> So, 
Now, this kind of this wood was not all that great. I ended up getting some discount discount lumber from the Home Depot. If you look for the, if you go to Home Depot and you go to ask ask one of the employees for the purple spray painted wood, 70% off super cheap, right? So now, like I said, unfortunately, I don't have I don't have long nails at or long uh, screws at this time to actually go over this, right? But you're gonna take your piece, your four pieces of wood, about like I said, that big. You want little legs on this thing, and there's gonna be a little little uh, circle in the bottom of your Home Depot bucket, right? You want these posts coming off like a cross, like one there. One there, one there, one there, right? You're going to drill them in. It's going to feel a little flimsy at first, but don't worry about that because the next step is going to anchor those screws in pretty good, right? So once you've got that screwed in, if you're, fo if you're following along at home, um... Don't forget the pickup screws. Really important. <laughs> you can actually even do this without the legs. It's not as stable, but it's still, you know, you can still give it a pretty good thwack. And it's it's just gonna bump it's just gonna move a bit. The legs just definitely help. So once you've got that, you're gonna take your bag of quick creep. Right, you're gonna you're gonna look for the eighty pound bag. You know it's it's gonna be it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. You just get you know get one big bag, call it a day. Right. You're gonna put your post in here. I'm just gonna leave that sitting for a second. Away. Right? You're gonna open your bag of quick creep. It's been a while I needed to cut something. With a sword, yeah. Alright. So with this already in here, right? You want this to be standing up as much as humanly possible. So, you take your bag, you are going to make a mess. No, que no questions about it. You're going to dump the thing in there. Right? And it's going to make, like I said, a gigantic mess. And that's fine. Right? So center your post up. And then you go get water. So the camera's over here. Okay. So, you're going to bring your water. I really need an assistant. He said, you're going to make a mess. You're absolutely going to make a mess. Probably dump concrete everywhere, which is fine. All right. This is not going to be an exact concrete all over the phone. This is not meant as an exact science. Um, there's literally almost no way you can mess this up. Uh, almost absolutely no way, right? So you dump some of the water in. If you want, you can even take a stick. 
give it a give it a poke stir it up essentially you want all of this concrete in here to be moist so stab it get all the water in rinse and repeat I guess there's really not a whole lot of measuring with this. That's one of the reasons I'm recommending Quickcrete. This stuff is amazing. Like, even if you add too much water to it, as long as you leave it out to sit, there's no possible way you can even remotely mess this up. Right? You just leave it, it's, it'll take longer to dry if you don't if you don't use the proper you know mixture quite frankly but like i said i this this that's on your tape no cut it out so i'm recommending the products that i am because with most with most concrete you do actually have to worry about you know which which we'll call it the consistency and everything this this is like i said brain proof so, put more water in that. A little more stabbing, right? Essentially, you're going to keep doing that. No, no, I'm pretty sure everybody can still see that, right? Now, like I said, even if you added too much water, you're just going to leave that sit, right? Let it soak in. You're going to leave that like that for a while. Now, luckily, rather than having this be a 24 hour long video while we wait and watch concrete dry, which, you know, you know, quite frankly, uh, at this point, I've got nothing better to do than to watch concrete dry. But luckily, Sigfroter plans ahead. I'll be right back. I will get the other one. Made a t I just made a tiny one. Little, basically, a uh, child size. Whew. I've stated before, this, this is, it's gonna weigh a ton, right? But, see, that's the one that's, you know, all wet and drying still, or, this is what it's gonna come to when it's completely dry, right? Now, once it's, I'm just gonna demonstrate here real quick. The one that's dry, you know, I can really give that thing, I also didn't fill it up all the way with concrete so that it would, you know, was so that it would dry faster, but you can give that a whack, that is not going anywhere. Now if you bought the big bag and filled up the bucket, that is absolutely not going anywhere. That's 80 pounds of concrete. So you're going to have to whack the crap out of that to make that move, right? So, once you, once you have, you know, like I said, your four legs, which, remember to pick up screws. Remember to actually get the things you need. Not during a quarantine tech. <laughs> but once you've got all that and you've got it dried. Now comes the fun part, personalizing this thing, right? You could, 
could technically just leave that as a post and you know you would be fine i mean if you're just doing if you're just doing slow work you know not a huge deal there's plenty of people that like to do slow work on here i i'm i'm personally not one of them right i and I apologize this time for uh, Wilson's appearance. He's seen better days. But, squishy. Personally, I personally upgrade from keeping it, you know, hard to soft has really saved my joints. You know, it, I, I don't hurt as much, you know, after practice. It's squishier. And every once in a while, you can give it, you know, a good see how fast how fast you've actually gotten and truly test it, right? So, cons the consideration would be what do you wrap this thing in, right? Because at at this point, this is where you know the build becomes your own, right? The base, as long as you have a solid foundation on it, you can do just about anything. This one is actually, you know, carpet, right? You would take the you would take one end of it. Yeah. There's wood everywhere. You know, bring it line up the carpet about there, right? Nail it in, you know, all the way down your pel. And then wrap it, right? You can throw a whole lot of duct tape on that. You can throw just about anything, right? You can do something simple, cut, you know, noodles in it. Make it slightly less squishy, but something that's not going to tear through your swords, right? I've seen just about everything from even tires, if you chop them up, or simply, you know, just drill a hole in the top. I have a tire over here. So if you if you take if you take the tire right, you know you cut out a two by four sized hole here, and then at the bottom right, and do that with a couple of tires, you can literally just stack these right up the pel, and then you still have a super squishy uh, striking surface, but. Something else I actually recommend doing, right? No matter how you're going to wrap your pel, right? On the on the back of it, I would recommend screwing in a couple of blocks of wood. You know, out, out, out. You know, a couple of long screws, put them through. And then, and then, you know, wrap it. But make sure that, you know, stays a little bit open in the back. That would give you a place to hang a rope and tie a shield onto. I'm practicing around shields. But you're essentially going to build this thing, you know, A, whatever materials you have available. It's, it's, it's the apocalypse, so... Kind of grab a... You know, if you, if you find tires on the side of the road, use them. If you, you know, just go to Walmart and pick up pool noodles, use them. You know, or if you can get some cheap carpet, oftentimes at Walmart, I find that, you know, they're constantly, they, you know, things are constantly on sale. Or even Ollie's. Um, if you go to Ollie's and just ask them, you know, if they have remnants or anything, or, you know, just stuff that, you know, they, they're throwing out of old stock, old inventory... 
or even just, yeah, you know, I don't know how inclined you are, but, yeah, any, any of you are, but check, check the dumpster. Um, they, they constantly, they're constantly throwing stuff out. The whole, but, the more, the more you can use, you know, of things you didn't have to pay for, the better. That bag of quickcrete was like, four bucks. I don't even know how much the, the bucket is. And two by fours, if you, if you use the, let me see if they have, no, I don't have, oh, I put the, I put the purple side in. Oh no, actually right there. If you use the purple, the purple painted lumber, super cheap. So, at that point, kind of just a quick little introduction to how to build a, you know, just completely cheap Opel for under, un, under 45 bucks. Um, check. Yeah. Bucket is about 4.99, just about, yeah. Bucket 4.99. Quick create about yeah you know, five bucks. I I wasn't even counting honestly. You get the piece of wood if you if you do if you do the purple spray paint thing. You know just ask them ask them where they keep the purple the, the purple the purple line lumber. Seventy percent off or sixty seventy something like that. You're gonna pay three four bucks for that. So just literally for this base, less than fifteen. So, you know, if you decide you want to spend $30 on the carpet and nail it in, go nuts. <laughs> I mean, make it luxurious. Once you once you have whatever you're going to put on there, you know, like the pool noodles, carpet, essentially you're literally just going to keep wrapping it with duct tape until the whole thing is cumbered, covered. Yeah. I, I, normally, I normally grab 2 by 4s personally. Because I mean, if a two by four breaks, I don't know. I throw out, I, um, I throw out the bucket. I throw out the concrete. It's whatever. Yeah. I actually, I haven't had one of these break though. Luxurious Pell. I mean, you can take just about any Pell you have. Throw some carpet on that, and just a whole lot of duct tape. Never underestimate the power of duct tape. But I mean, yeah, that, that's essentially what I have. I mean, anybody have any questions or need to see any of this or any other views? No? Well, in that case, you guys all have yourselves a wonderful day. And I'm going to try to figure out how to save this so that it can be saved onto the group.